Oh! Hey! Okay, so this is physics. You're, we're displacing the water to get it to rise. There's no actual working water in here. Although I'm a little bit surprised we're able to lift these because I think that the reason why we don't have a faster walking speed is because we have muscle weakness due to not evacuating during an emer emergency. So it's lovely. There we go. Sorry, I was just double checking the recording, making sure everything was working right. Okay. So I've made the flowers bloom. Uh, I guess we'll probably probably be sleeping here. That would be my guess. But the problem is, what do we do at night? I'm not finding any switches. And although we want to go outside, we can't really go outside because we are we are too sensitive to the sunlight. It will burn us to as crisp because the sun is a deadly laser. Uh, maybe we just use the axe and beat down that door over there. That's a possibility. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go, 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 let's go. some sort of grotesque monstrosity that's mutated due to the uh, due to the uh, exposure to chemicals and such. Laws are prevailing require, requiring posting of impacts. Public notices of negative health impacts that would, requ that would be caused by a failure to escape in an eventual evacuation are required. According to the ruling issued today by Federal Appeals Court for 12th Circuit, in this case brought by the Environmental Organization the court ruled that federal law does indeed require posting public notice listing the impacts in newspaper publications and inside residential buildings. The negative impacts include coma, sensitivity to sunlight, muscle weakness, memory loss, melting and bubbling of the skin, and necrosis. Oh, we got all of that. Lovely. For sale. Sil silver sports car. Two-seater. Very precious and don't want to sell, but I need the money. I'm looking for a roommate. Must not get in late, drunk and loud. Must put the toilet seat down. Hopefully we can com become friends for all life. For inquiries, call George. Dear Argon, I just wanted to tell you that I will love you all of my life and I have enjoyed spending these years in the office with you. I am looking forward to many more years in the office together. <sighs> huh. I mean, he's yawning a lot, so does that mean we leave? And he just wants to walk out into the sunlight? Like this? Or does he want to sleep? I'm very confused. It's allowing us to sleep, but it's also allowing us to leave. So I think, actually, we might want to leave. 
Yeah, and he's just yawning a lot. Uh, I'm gonna sleep actually. I'm gonna sleep and see what that gets me. Might not be anything. Hmm. Huh. This seems nice. Spunky. Spunky wanted to put her two cents into this as well. I think the story of this is actually pretty, like, self-explanatory. And plus I fairly, I think I explained what was happening pretty well as well. Uh, but I'll go through it, just from how I understand it. Um, so basically we're, we're probably Tosh, because that's the room we woke up in. And that seems to be the person that we probably were. We're clearly a guy, so that's possible that that's the person that we were. The picture might be a very old picture. Maybe it's him babysitting another kid down who lived there. In fact, that's very likely what it is. And, um... Yeah! There... There were these companies putting together, you know, trying to drill for resources and polluting the earth. And um, there was a chemical spill, I'm guessing, some sort of emergency chemical spill, and he didn't evacuate for some reason. Maybe he was already affected by some of these chemicals. I mean, it did say that they caused coma, so maybe he fell into a coma the night that this happened. And people didn't check for him, or he was lost somehow. So he mutated and became the thing that we saw um, in the, in the final scene there, um, that, that just seems to be what's most likely happened. And he would either be stuck inside of there forever, or he would, could walk out into the sunlight and probably die. So, the ending is probably the same no matter which you choose to do, going to sleep or walking outside. You'll probably end up having that sort of dream the ending bit there. So yeah, that was definitely a thing. <laughs> that was very, uh, it's honestly very heartfelt, very atmospheric and very feeling for that. Um, the story is, is like, you have to hunt and look for it a bit there, but it's definitely, it's definitely there, definitely strong too. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what I'll be playing next, but hopefully you had fun with this and you'll join me for whatever it is that I play next. Bye.